everyone. My name is Pascal Corbet and in today's My Thought of the Day, I want to talk to you about how to solve someone's problem, how to actually structure a webinar better in order to make sure that people don't just have the impression that, they, that the whole thing was interesting, but they don't know what to do with it. You need to look into how to solve someone's problem. Make sure that you go through your um, research and you look out and identify what are usual problems that people have in your respective area and then pick them up you talk about them and then you subsume whatever your findings are under it and make sure that you contribute to solving their problem once you've done that once you rinse and repeat you do it again you find another sub aspect of whatever your findings of your project are and from there you move on and you do it again and again. You might want to come to a stage where you want to present some stats, so that's a more aggregated, a more abstract uh, part of rinse and repeat, uh, and you, you, show, you show those results. After this phase, you go through picking up objections. So you need to anticipate what they will do, what they will say, what they have in their mind, and you pick it up. For example, they will say, well, what works with your youth project is not going to work with my projects that I have with doctors. Or you in Africa, Asia, the whole setting is completely different. So you need to make sure that you are prepared for that and that in your presentation you pick that up. You don't just ignore it and wait for people to, to just go home and have the impression, well, I've heard that before, it doesn't work with me. Make sure that you have that packed in. One thing that you might want to consider when you talk about actually overcoming the usual objections is being creative and finding ways that work with social proof. In other words, people like to do and like to believe what other people like. So lots of other people like. It's called social proof and this uh, guy, Robert Caldini, He's actually done a lot of groundbreaking work on that for sort of sales psychology and it works for our context as well. So make sure that you show people that other people also believe in this and that you have the numbers, how many people think that this will work and that you build in this sort of social proof aspect that will take you very far. Now you've gone through proving your point that your approach or your aim or your hypothesis is actually true, it works. You've gone through typical objections and uh, sorted that out and then you're going to leave it with that. That's usually what happens in webinar presentations, development, cooperation, this sort of scientific thing. You leave it with that. So everybody can take this home and decide what to do with it. Well, it's not a very good way to do it. In sales, you would say you're not closing the deal because what you need to offer now, the call to action is usually in sales, obviously buy, buy the product that you don't want to do here. But you need to offer your listeners some concrete perspective of what they could actually do and what they should do. So if you have nutrition related aspects that, that are in your project, so make sure that you say you've learned that nutrition related decisions are not necessarily made by the mothers in terms of breastfeeding, but that mothers-in-law have a big say in how actually food decisions are made in the household. So you need to make sure that your messaging includes talking to mothers-in-law. So the elder generation females in a way. And finally, well, if you don't have all that, well, if you, it could be that your main message is just simply Make sure you follow us on the project. Uh, make sure you use our email address in the text below. Make sure you talk to us because the aim of our project is to support other projects. We're on that advisory level. We don't have feet on the ground in Vietnam or so. We just want to make sure that our basic ideas come across and that they are reflected in other projects approaches. So make sure that you email us, this sort of thing. But you need to make sure that you give people something to take home, something concrete, because the worst thing that you don't want to happen is that people think, and now, nowadays, that people think, I've learned something very interesting, but actually, you know, I had so much work to do on my disc, 
I don't know what to do with it. So next time I'm not going to tune in and do this again. So it's not about being interesting and only convincing. People need to take something home because the time is over where people go into things in their work time and listen to something just because it's interesting if they can't put it into their concrete work and if they can't justify to their boss that they've said in, the, in this particular webinar. Thank you very much.